Hello everyone, this is Lolly. Welcome back. Uh, today I am playing with these bandage images. It is a digital file in my shop. Um, there's several forms of it, including some things you could put on the back to be a blessing to someone. Um, I changed the size to be a large one and a small one because I want to make a card and I want to make a paper clip to go in the card and it's going to be a get well theme. And so um, I think these ones, I'll give you the dimensions. Um, I kept the perspective between height and weight the same. And I made these two inches tall and these three and a half inches tall. And it is for a guy, so I don't want it to be too, um, too girly looking. I do have cardstock here. That is an A2 size, so that is a so it's a uh, four and a quarter by, no, excuse me, five and a half by eight and a half right now. And I'm going to score it four and a quarter. And then that will bring it to an A2 card. But um, I'm going to leave it flat as I decorate because I think it'll, well, actually I'll go ahead and do this so I can see my score line. And then I'm going to open it back up. Okay. And so what I'm going to do, I'm thinking, I'm turning it this way, because I think, I think what I want to do is make a pocket on here. The reason I'm doing this, obviously someone is in need of a card, but what I mean is I have a goal, and that is I was talking about this in a Facebook video with my paperclip art group, and that is that we're going to be using the hashtag one paperclip at a time to reflect our group's motto, which is changing the world one paper clip at a time. And so now and then we're going to do uh, paper clips that we can give to people to be an encouragement. And uh, we're going to use the hashtag, like I said, one paper clip at a time. So this, the card is going to be four and a quarter. I'm going to make this four and it's five and a half wide. I'm going to make it five and a quarter. So I'm just making it a tiny bit smaller than the actual card base. Now I want to make a denim pocket and I have a I have a stamp set, a stamp and die set from Stampin' Up, but it is just a pinch too small for what I'm wanting. So I'm going to measure here, and I'm going to cut a rectangle first. I'm going to say that I want my pocket to be three and a half inches wide. It's going to be a little wide pocket, not a, you know, let's just make a three and a half inch square and see where we get from there. Okay, and how I need to alter it from there. So what I want to do is, is get my pencil and I'm going to draw the effect that I want. I'm going to find the center here on the bottom. So if this is three and a half, I want one and three quarters right there. And then I'm going to come up, let's say, let's try just half an inch, see if that's enough. And half an inch. hard to see pencil on this paper. The question is, will it look like a pocket? Is there enough of a slope there? I think so. I'll go with it. I wouldn't do much more of a slant than that. Okay, so that gives me a sort of a pocket there. And I'm wondering about, I have a thought here. I'm actually going to score this um, and make a little flap over the top. So not very much, just three eighths of an inch. So it's between one quarter and one half is where I want to go with that. And then I'm going to glue that down to hold it in place. Now you can stitch this on your sewing machine uh, with, you know, kind of that golden, not gold, but like a ye orange yellow thread to really make it look like a denim. Cause you know, blue jeans can leave eyes and stuff. They can have that color of thread. Um, I don't really want to stitch on this tiny project, but what I think I'm going to do is take a fine point pen here and just make little dark stitch lines on it. 
did it on the cuff and I'm doing it all the way down here. You could do a little, um, like a chevron or a little loop of stitches there, but I think what I want to do instead is to stamp on here. I have feel better soon, be well soon, which obviously needs a little be with it, and I have I hope you feel better soon. And I think this one looks a little less feminine than the rest of them. So let me get my ink out. It's a very old stamp and it is from Hero Arts, oh my goodness. I think it's F330. My glasses broke and um, I, I wear uh, trifocals for stamping and I didn't realize just how much I relied on glasses until they broke and now I'm using readers and boy it's not working. I'm hesitating now because I was wondering about embossing but I'm, I'm just going to go ahead and go for it. Oops, I can see I missed out on the F here so I'm going to fill that in. Oh, it's not much. It's just right there. Not bad. Okay. This is side to clean. And so then that will be my little pocket there. And I am planning on putting some band-aids in there like this. And so I thought how cute it would be if I could put little sentiments on the band-aids or little hearts or yet like something on the back. But then there's no guarantee that he would pull them out and actually look at the backs. So I might be better off um, doing something on the front. Now this one says loved, and I think that's important. Not cute. And I have, these are just various stamps that I have found here and there. This one says believe. Oh, that's so cute. And, blessed. I think some of these came from a set. This is a Stampin' Up! one here. And this one says missed. And then he's been out of action for a while. I need to let him know he's missed. And then um, I have these two as well. I found another one that says you're delightful. I don't think that's going to fit. Uh, this one says I'm glad. There is you. And let's see. Oh, take time to enjoy life's simple joys. This one might not fit all the way in there. We'll see. Could also do some color on here. Whoop, just made it. Woo! Okay. <laughs> that just made it. So I'm going to glue this pocket on. Again, this is a really simple card here. You know what might be cute would be a button on this. Or buttons in the corner corners you know how sometimes buttons have uh, metal reinforcements in the corners that might be cute okay so that's down there now I'm wondering uh, get these together so okay so there we go we have that. I will look at my buttons later. Right now what I want to do is go ahead and focus on these. And th this has a much smaller stamp area, so I'm not sure if any of these will fit. Mist will fit. Um, but let me get a heart punch. This one might be a little small, and I'm not sure. I wonder if I could use my scraps of the plaid if that would... Uh, even show up or should I go with a solid probably a solid would be better I could do it but I think I would need to distress the edges to really make that stand out a little bit I think I'll go with a red solid let me get my scraps another thing would be to do two one there and one here and then it shows up a little better that way Now these, uh, the band-aids are a digital file in my shop, and when I created them, um, I did them as, uh, they're just black and white, you know, it's a, basically an in, um, transparent image so that you could put it on whatever color cardstock you want. When I did it this time, I did it on white, uh, but I colored them in, in Silhouette Design Studio, so you don't have to do that. 
Now I can do them like this, I can do them this way, but then it wouldn't necessarily look like a Band-Aid. I can do two like this. Um, I'm just thinking of how I want that. I really would like to get a sentiment on this one. I don't know if it would show up. Okay, let's try that. If I don't like it, I'll use a different Band-Aid. I moved it off to the side a little bit there. Okay. I could do it like this, and that way they both show up. Okay, I think we're going to go for that. So, um, my paper clip blanks out. Let's glue these together. Now, if you really want uh, extra dimension or extra, not dimension, but extra support and strengthen these because they could be pretty floppy, we can put band-aids on the backs and that would also give it a better look from the back. So take two of these and glue them back to back on this. Like that. The one that's partially covered. And then I'll come and glue this one on there. Oh, the, this is really making it a lot stronger. So in our paperclip art group on Facebook, we have had a motto for years because when we started the group, I just thought, I wrote in the group guidelines at the very bottom in quotations, taking over the world one paperclip at a time. And we, re we recently morphed that into changing the world one paperclip at a time. And so I thought this would be a cute way to actually change the world one paperclip at a time is by giving someone... A little gift and I thought it'd be cute you know nice if you could make one for your mail carrier for your teachers or you know there's so many people right now you might want to express appreciation for okay I'm using power tack just because it's a plastic disc here okay so that is a simple simple paper clip again it's someone that probably has never experienced paper crafts before and <laughs> I didn't want to overwhelm this person, but very cute. Just simple. I think I will look at my buttons. I have some really tiny ones, metallic ones would be great, but I don't have anything that um, metallic, but I think these black ones would be perfect, you know, just to give it a little oomph. Brown would also be a good one. I think black would be fine. Okay, so we also have power tack for that. And what I'm going to do for the inside here, I think I'm just going to make a strip here that this can go down into. So maybe take a piece of this. I'm going to go two inches by two inches and cut a piece of this scrap off here as well and do this one two by one. And the reason is I am going to fold this over onto the cardstock like this and it makes it sturdy because I'm afraid of it tearing otherwise. And then I'll trim off the excess when I'm done. With all these layers sometimes you know it gets a little excess right there. Now, um, what I'm going to do is, see I'm just kind of bending it a little bit in the, in the middle. When I'm ready, I will clip this on and then glue the two sides into my card. I don't want to glue it in there completely flat and then try to slide this in there because I'll be missing the dimension to do that. Right now I'm just going to put this upside down and let this set very well while I glue these buttons on and then I will come back when everything is all set up well and I will give you a follow-up on here. So just a dab and a dab. I think the pocket looks pretty good. I'm looking at my arms and I realize it looks like I'm wearing uh, a bathrobe. I'm not. <laughs> It's a plushy tie-dye kind of 
a zip front. Oh, I really like that with the buttons right there. It gives it just an added pinch. Now, if I was doing this and I wanted a feminine version, you could add lace to your pocket, more decorations to the pocket. You could use glitter embossing powder for the words, but again, I didn't want it to be overwhelming, and I think I accomplished exactly what I set out to do. Okay, let's let the uh, power tack set up and come back. Alrighty, that has set up well, and I stamped this on the back with this. It's a stamp that I ordered on Etsy, and I love it. So you can choose the image, and you can choose the sentiment and everything. So I want it to say, hey, made by Lolly, or you just put your name in there. So pretty cool. Okay, so we can flip this over. And again, I have kind of given this a little bit of bendy room here. I'm going to glue it. I'm going to give it a good wide swatch there. Put it right there and hold on to both sides. And then all I need to do is put a sentiment on here, write my note, and send it on its way. Now, you know this is pretty thick, so it's not going to fold really flat. And um, with this paper clip in there, it's not going to even, I think I'm gonna need to put it in a padded envelope is what I'm saying. You know, make it, mail it as a parcel, because um, the paper clip's too thick. Um, if it was just one paper clip with nothing on it, I could send it as non-machinable mail as opposed to putting it in a padded envelope there. I think that is sweet and I'm really happy with it. You know, very simple, very sweet, and I think that'll be encouraging to be able to pull these out and see the little messages on them. Thank you for watching and look down below. I'll give you a link to the Paperclip Art Group.